Oh yeah. <laughs> Sonic Underground. <laughs> That's what Luigi needs. He needs a show. That's Mama Luigi to you. <laughs> yeah. All right. So we can go to the wash room now. The wash room. Should have wash your face. Oh. Go wash your face, Luigi. Uh, what was it? Oh, Toad! Oh, Jesus! It smells horrible! <laughs> what are you doing pissing around in here? <laughs> <laughs> Literally. Uh, but no, he's actually crying about something. Yeah, which technically you don't even have to talk to him to sort out. I could just hump this toilet and the problem would be solved. But just for the <laughs> sake of the let's play, I will talk to Toad and see why he's crying. Ah! Luigi! I dropped an important thing into the toilet! I didn't mean to, I just had diarrhea! <laughs> <laughs> Goodbye. <laughs> what the fuck? No, okay. <laughs> no, I'm not going to do that. I didn't mean to. Don't worry about it. I, yeah. I also, can I just say, this line here really disturbs me when you think about it. Because he's been on the toilet. No point crying over spilt milk. That could be interpreted so differently. Yeah. <laughs> no Ooh. point crying over spilt milk. I just jacked off in the toilet. I flushed that old yeah. worry away. Let it swirl on down to the depths. It's like, Toad, <laughs> shut the fuck up. Let me just okay. hump the toilet and get the key. Thank God he's wearing gloves. I was about to say, good thing he's got gloves on. And good thing we'd have to use the plunger, because he could have just knocked it down. <laughs> yeah. Hang on a sec, I want to take the toilet roll with me for my journey. Yes, there we go. <laughs> Phew! Second hand toilet paper. <laughs> Ooh, candles! Yeah, just in case you shit yourself. <laughs> <laughs> Brilliant. No, just in case I've got a dirty face. Right, so... During the blackout, during the blackout... Okay, sorry, I've got... I didn't, I'm, I'm constantly flicking between tabs, because I've got a Speedy Spirit tab open, and a... Um, yeah, there, there is a golden mice in Or, yeah, mouse in Yeah, there's room. a mouse in there. Oh, shit, there's a mouse as well. I do know there's a mouse in here. <coughs> Sorry. Very good. Yep. Um. And there's a sapphire. Hey sapphire. Hey sapphire. <laughs> Shout out sapphire Yoshi. So yeah. This is the fort. This is the room that we probably visit. The, I guess maybe probably the foyer. The main foyer. This is probably the room we enter the most in the game, because you have to come back. Well, you can. En I mean, you can do it all in one go, but you can come back as well. But mm -hmm. this is probably one of the most important rooms, at least. Definitely one of the most important characters. If you shine your light on the crystal ball, we get introduced to. Hang on. Uh. There we go. Madame Clairvoyer, that is her name. What do you seek of me? Who are you? Hmm. Madame Clairvoyer, seer of dropped items. Possessions of other people awaken vibrations in my spirit. So again, it's another link to... Um, well, uh, this is another aspect of the game. And again, that's what I like about Luigi's Mansion. It's not just linear. Go through the, go through the mansion and um, beat the bosses. There's also booze and there's also this. Now, what are these dropped items? We'll have to f we'll find them out at some point, but that's quite a specific thing. Dropped items, so we'll, when we we'll encounter them very soon. But yeah, we we see nothing right now, so she can't really tell us anything. But we have to bring her back some possessions to help us um, see some things. So, so this level this level locks itself off automatically. The mirror room. Now we can't see anything. Um, in real life here, but we have to rely on the mirror to guide us here, so... Again, depth perception can be a bit of a shitter, so as you can see, he's behind me, so to the right. I guess to Luigi's left, but to my right. <laughs> yeah. Oh god, two. Two of them will spawn at one point. There you go. Damn it! 
<laughs> you almost. Fuck. Oh, damn. Let me get this one out of the way quickly. Oh, man. You can actually see his shadow ever so slightly as well. Creeping across the floor. Oh, shit. Oh, oh there it is. Um. Oh, God. Oh. Oh no. There we go. So yeah, those are the um, annoying versions of those white ghosts we saw. Oh, and also a red chest, so we'll go over that in a second. But yeah, those are the annoying um, versions of the ghosts earlier, and they actually inflict damage. They'll not only take health of you, but they also um, take um, money of you. Now, the red chest. Well, actually, there are certain color chests, but we get to pick up this. Which Egad, because, you know, Egad's just the master of everything. Um, he will explain to us what it is. Hey now, Luigi, what have you found there? Let's take a look at that. It's a... Uh, oh, let me get my big encyclopedia of useless shit out. <laughs> a fire element medal. So, we can now... With our vacuum, disperse fire. Well, I don't disperse right but we can use it as a flamethrower almost, which um, can help us defeat fire elemental ghosts. Which again, we'll come across them soon. Expel fire with the L button. Melt ice, light candles, do all kinds of stuff to defeat some ghosts. Keep that in mind. So yeah. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go and get some fire. Oh, oh, I wasn't gonna, I didn't want to activate him, but you know, might it's as well suck Kung him Boo. Out. Kung Boo. Everybody likes Kung Boo fighting. Oh, never mind. Nope. Um. Oh, well, fuck it. I can't be bothered. <laughs> anyway, to, to leave the room, you have to light, light these candles. That's why there's still thorns on there. Right now, Luigi's a py pyromancer. <laughs> Let's see. Oh, yeah, there's also... Oh, yes! Yay! I mean, that doesn't give you any um, any jewels <laughs> or anything, but that's an example of a luck-based thing. Like, honestly, there's, there's like a 10-20% chance of that spawning. So, that's really cool that that spawned. And that's the type of shit there. I think, I'm um, again, double-checking, there is one in the kitchen that um, yeah. literally just doesn't... It spawns randomly. You can't really dictate it. Like, it just spawns. Anyway, next room. Say, I was going to say, you're actually missing a key. Oh, yes, I know I am. I'll go get that in a sec. Oh, do you mind? <laughs> I'll go to the butler's room first, and then I'll come back. <laughs> I love the noises he makes. Like, why is the butler such a... Oh, shit. Why is the butler such a retard? Oh, do I need to fucking... Ah, oh, yep. man. I didn't realise that that was the process of the order. Damn it. See, it's been a while since I played this game. It didn't... <sighs> I'm back, Mrs. Weird Fortune Teller. Let me just, you know... Like, how are you with fire? Because... I need to light some candles. <laughs> How are you with spicy food? <laughs> I don't know why. I don't know why I need to ask that. That's just a... That's a personal that question. Watch. <laughs> anyway, I light uh, the candles to get the key. I, I didn't... I just forgot that I had to do that to unlock the door over here. I actually thought this was an already unlocked door. Like, there are some that I like that. I hope that he's still here. Nah, he's more than likely gone. Oh, well, that's fine. What I'm gonna do is... Hang on a sec, where is it? There is a collectible in here. Oh, yeah. 
Yeah. Sapphire, if you hump the bucket in the in the corner there. Right, we'll be back. But I might as well do this. Yeah. Oh well, I kind of made did a bit of a cack-handed order, but it is what it is. Oh shit! I didn't realize he spawned. See again, I haven't got my TV that loud. And to be fair, this is an optional room as well. Yeah. No, the white ones are okay. At least they don't hurt you. So we're in the laundry room, aren't we? There's nothing in the laundry room. No, that's fine. I'm just checking quickly. I, there is something though to collect. I mean, first of all, this is our first green chest, and the green chest is like a big treasure chest, essentially, which has just a lot of collectibles. Hmm. Now, there is one thing we haven't actually looked at yet. Hmm. In the, launch, the washing laundry machine over here. <gasps> it's Mario's hat! That's oddly specific. That's a dropped item, isn't it? And it's been laundered recently. That's nice. <laughs> At least the ghosts are, are capturing him and, you know, possibly raping him or something. At least they're taking care of him. At least they're like, well, we've captured him, but goodness me, his hat is creased. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, man. There we go. Back to the butler. Oh. See, that's why I hate it. You, su you suck them up and you still get bloody hit. But they're such a weirdo. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's like a horse. Oh yeah, we didn't exactly examine his heart, but he's actually thinking about another uh, portrait ghost. Which one? Um. I think her name is Melody. Oh yeah, we'll see her soon yeah. as well. Melody. Either way, it's an appropriate name. So, he didn't sit on the... And he starts having a spaz attack. It's like, what the fuck? <laughs> oh, damn it. <laughs> oh, I think it should be okay. Yeah, yeah. he's more back for the door. But I just, it literally, I accidentally let go of the button. Because, sorry, he needs, he needs to just flip out again. <laughs> like, his heart already spawns anyway, because I think he's thinking of that girl. That bitch. <laughs> that piano playing bitch. Who actually, to be fair, you guys probably heard anyway, because every time we walk past where we um, where we found those can floating candles, don't hit me. I hear that when like you're stuck in time, or like just when when the chest spawns and you're st and your um, and the poison mushroom hits you because you're frozen for a second. Yeah. But no, you guys probably heard the um, piano when we've walked past there. So we'll see that soon. Now down here there is a little mouse hole. Which leads to a secret area. This is the secret or the hidden room? Hidden room. Now this room has a lot of shit in there. Good shit. <laughs> so in some of the room, some of the chests there are... There's money. Some, some chests contain ghosts. However... They are elemental ghosts, and I think they're ice ghosts, and you have to use the fire to to be able to kill them. <laughs> so if you didn't have the fire medal, or the fire medal already, you wouldn't actually be able to beat this ghost. Yeah. Ooh. Don't worry, so you I had it under control. The face. <laughs> <laughs> These little cups over here. Oh yeah. Um. Some of some of those are, some of them have candles. Yeah, but see, I think they have a gold bar in. There we go. But damn, all the odds, because I think there's only four ghosts in here, isn't there? Yeah. So the other yeah. the other two chests are either empty or have something in there. 
No, I don't want to hump that. Fuck. Oh. <laughs> That's a nice surprise. Dan, uh, again, I would have been empty if um, we hadn't beat the level, because obviously there is a boo in here. Now, I love this, because you can collect like three diamonds all at once. So there's a gem, there's an emerald, a ruby, and a sapphire. <laughs> you know, despite time being frozen, the money still disappears. I know, I hate that. Uh, but it's not really an issue. No, it isn't. Because, like I said, the main thing for is just um, the um, the gems for me. That's the main thing. Right, so let me see. Hidden room. Hidden room. Um, butler's room. God, he got that. Hidden room. Hidden room. Right, that's fine. Up next, kitchen. But that's not up next, but that's the next thing. <laughs>